So the question gets asked all the time of why, if the turnkey rental properties are so good, do the turnkey providers not keep them for themselves because they're selling them to other investors? But if they're so great, why not keep them? Well, you have to look at the turnkey rental property business model as far as the turnkey companies go. They're essentially just flippers. They are finding the assets, the distressed properties, they're rehabbing them. In this case, they're putting tenants in, they have property managers, and then they're flipping them off to investors. Whereas like normal flippers typically focus on primary home buyers, this is just kind of like a glorified flipping situation. So why do regular flippers not keep all the properties for themselves if they're so good? It's the business model. It's an active business model. If flippers or the turnkey providers hold all of the assets that they get, first of all, they're very quickly gonna run out of money. Because if you think about it, you buy a property for $100,000, you do the work, you flip it, let's say your profits, I don't know, $30,000, which is not the case usually for turnkey providers, but let's say it's $30,000. Well, you can only do that so many times with the capital that you have before you run out of money. But if you keep snowballing that money into buying more and more properties, you can keep that line going. So going back to the turnkey providers, they're not making 30 grand a property at all, but they are making money and they take that money that they get from selling one property and they can roll it into more. So that's how they keep the revolving inventory going. So again, they're just flippers. They're not buy and hold, but I will say that a lot of them do keep some of the properties for themselves, but again, they can't keep all of them because they would run out of capital. So it's really just that easy.